Hello and welcome to Jang's Food Workshop. I'm Chin and this is my mum Chu. Yeah, definitely. This is me. We're back. We are back. We've been back for a bit now, mum. Are we? Yeah. <laughs> We're back again then. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, welcome! We teach you how to do Chinese takeaway food exactly how Chinese takeaways do it because we own Chinese takeaways and we cook in them so we know exactly what we're talking about, no secrets here whatsoever. We also teach you how to do Malaysian street food because we also have Malaysian street food restaurants and traditional Chinese food because we are Chinese and eat traditional Chinese food. So there we go. Just a quick note, if you want to purchase one of these t-shirts or our cookbook, which is here, these are available on our website, which is chinandchew.com, the link will be below. You have to click on load more to go through the site to find them. They're not the first ones that come up. So anyway, back to the video. Mum, what are we doing today? Today we're doing jiaozi. Uh, yes. Yeah. What jiaozi? Chicken. No. <laughs> well, yeah, chicken. Chicken is like filling. Easy. Easy, easy. Easy jiaozi. Jiaozi. So this is probably, I'd say, what, 50% of the places will do. I mean... They mostly, I think they probably bought tea. Actually, yeah, mostly they do. They yeah, do buy them in. not many make them now. So this is like halfway between hand making completely and halfway through sort of kind of step. We are going to do a full on tutorial on how to make the pastry, um, everything like that in a separate video but we wanted to do an easy one for you guys first to get your head around using the pastry to begin with and surely because this is probably what you'd get in a lot of takeaways. The fillings are always going to be slightly different. Chances are if they're handmade they're going to be done like this and they're not going to be done completely from scratch. So if they are in that case their, their fillings will be completely different. Yeah definitely. This is just a very simple one that's delicious tasty yeah and we really want to get on with this yes. to show you what's up with it that that's right, make... so you can try it at home that didn't make sense what i said what that's what's up with it doesn't matter today my english is terrible <laughs> <laughs> mine has been terrible for many times 40 years ago it's been terrible it's not your oh, first 40 years your, your english is actually very good considering was it? Yeah. Is this my accent sometimes slick? It's only when you've been talking to other Chinese people. Oh, I think I, some, especially when I'm tired or had too much going on and the pronunciation is not there, it's just slip. It's go back to my normal English, how I used to speak before, before I get to practice a bit more. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, yes, we know what you mean. That nugget of information is out there now, so thank yeah. you for that one. <laughs> Let's get on with the jiaozi. I'm not sure how English people say this, by the way. Gaozi. Do they say gaozi? Jiaozi. I reckon they say... Gaozi. Gaoza. Yeah, gaozi. I reckon they say gaoza. Gaozi. It all depends on what... I think this pronunciation has been... No, I mean, English people will probably read that as... Gaozi. No, the, the Z8 isn't Z. Za. It's Za. I reckon they I put... Gaozi. Go, I reckon they put, say Goza. Goza, yeah. Godzilla. I always think that Goza, when that word came to me, I thought it was Godzilla. Because it's Zilla, Z-L-A. Yeah. <laughs> we know them as Jiaozi. Yeah, Jiaozi. So, there. Um, let's get on with them. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so here we have the ingredients. We've got these rehydrated Chinese mushrooms. We sell these uh, on our web store. They last forever. They literally do. And normally they come like this. Dried, absolutely solid. And all you do is put them in hot water and let them soak. Yeah, for about 15 minutes. Yeah. Longer if you want, but they don't need that long. And the liquor you have left over you can use for stocks and stuff. We have a tablespoon of light soy. Here we have a quarter teaspoon of 
ground black pepper, third teaspoon of white pepper, one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder, an egg, small, a heaped dessert spoon of potato starch, a third teaspoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of MSG. Uh, this is about 10 to 12 grams of fresh ginger peeled. You have water here, this is for sealing the pastries. You have this pastry, they're frozen and they're bought in like this. So yeah, you just have to look for the Jalza pastry and then there's loads of different brands. This one's quite good. We like this one. We're not making our own, this is what we use. And we've got a uh, diced chicken breast. Dicing makes a much nicer texture, but you can, in fact, put it into a blender if you want, right? Yeah. Yeah, but okay. it's a bit mushier, but this, there's a lot more going on when you do it like this. I prefer how cut. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna finely chop the ginger, same as the dongu or the Chinese mushrooms, and put it all together in a pot barring these two so that's what we'll do now right okay i forgot before i said we've got about three um, mushrooms hydrated that dehydrated about three centimeters by three centimeters that's how many comes out in total so you need about that much into the pan into the pan what am i on mum what is it what's it called bowl it is a bowl mixing bowl mixing bowl into the mixing bowl bowl into the mixing bowl that goes then we want your pepper black pepper msg white pepper Sugar, garlic powder. Garlic powder is a must in this, by the way. Potato starch. All the stuff sold on the website, chillandchew.com. You want your ginger, Chinese mushrooms, your light soy. We're using the Kum Key light soy today, and one egg. Then we're just going to mix this up. Yeah, Ma? Yeah, mix it up. Marinate. Is it marin? Not marinate. What just is it called? Mix it. Yeah, ma. What? Mm. Not marinate, what's the word for it? Mixing. Yeah. Marinate. Not uh. Marinade? Yeah. Marinate. Yeah. Yeah? Marinate. We're not marinating this because we're just going to use no, it. No, I mean, away. what do you call mixing together? There was another word beginning with the M. Macerate? Marinate. No, never mind. It's alright. Go on. The egg we used is a little bit thick. So, if, um, thick? Large. So there's a little bit too much moisture in there. All you have to do to overcome that is... And all it's be soft. Add a touch more potato starch. That's better already. Yeah. Yeah, that's already better. Now on to the making of them, the crimping and whatnot. Right, so, now we're gonna fill these up. Just take a little bit of your filling, place it right in the middle. Then you wet the outside of the pastry and you fold it over. Here's a better view of what we've been doing. Get one piece. Go around the water. This one, just get, get it sealed up. Put one spoon in. Fold it into half and climp it. Make sure you press it down. Fold it just to give it a bit of edge. Then what you do, you just pull it down like that. Plonk it. Yeah. And then you repeat this process, what? This is gonna get about 20. Yeah. What you don't use, you can literally just put back in the packet and save for a later date. You can freeze these again. Just make sure you seal them up in cling film or something first. Right, so we're gonna add a dessert spoon and a half of oil. And what we're going to do is, what a lot of people don't do, is fry them first. So you fry them base down first, and then you turn them on each side for a little bit, and then you add your water, and this gives them a much more depth of flavour. You want a medium temperature, but then when they go in, you want to turn the temperature down. It's just waiting, isn't it? Like waiting for the paint to dry. Yeah, it's always the most boring bit. Yeah, to wait for the pan to heat up. I think it's about ready yeah you don't want it too hot so we're going to turn yeah. the temperature down a little bit to a low heat yeah it's perfect oh, yummy i'm getting a little bit of oil so they crisp rather than bake that's a tip okay i want to try and keep them out of the main oil as much as possible so yeah looking good it is looking good when the water goes in it won't take very long yeah. at all to um turn the first one you put in now no a little bit longer yeah i'll turn that one turn that one 
Turn that on. Let's see why we're min seal the base. Turn that on. Now these will get darker on the second way through, so you don't want to get them too dark this time round. And this time I'm going to have to use scissors. Um, scissors? Chopsticks! Don't use scissors to turn these. <laughs> You'll become half. Yeah, Edward Scissorhands. It would not oh, be yeah. good at making Jalza, would he? No. So I'll start turning the side. Just looking for a tiny bit of colour. You don't want a large, a little bit more than colour than that would have been nicer. So I'll just leave the others to sit for a little bit longer, turn it up a little bit. But now on a medium heat, yeah, that's better. And once they're finished on all three sides, I'm going to stand them back up, then add the water. Oh, smell good already. You just have to be patient. So we're putting them back onto the base. They should just fold over quite quickly like that. Yeah. Because you've squared off the base beforehand and add water. You don't want too much. In here is probably going to go about 150 millilitres of water. You can always add, but you can't take away. And then you want to place a lid on that. Still at a medium low heat, you don't want it too high again, because if it's too high, you will burn the bottom of your zalzit. You just want them to steam through nicely. You might even turn it down a wee, yeah. wee bit. Take about five, five minutes maximum, yeah. Just think? give it to the... I'd say five minutes. Is, yeah. yeah it's Most ample, wasn't it? I'd say three, to be honest. But yeah. Yeah, five's definitely done. Yes. You just want to make sure your chicken is done. Yeah. yeah. You just have to stand here and watch. Sometimes the watch, so the water doesn't evaporate at all. If the water is all gone, you can always add a, a touch to it, yeah? Yeah, you can't, so that's why I said earlier, you can you can add, you can't take away. Your water needs to all be gone for you to have a really nice base for this, isn't it? Yeah. It's nice and crunchy. Do you like the crunch? Yes. Yeah. Well, look at Let's that. Let's have a look. Might turn it up a little bit, because they're nearly done. We just want to get yes. that water off now. Water is going quick. Yeah, really quick. Oh, yeah. Just waiting. Shouldn't be too long now. So the gels are actually cooked now. I'm going to just take off the lid because this will help the water escape a little bit better and then move them around. And this is the crucial part. This is where it gets a lot of its like flavour from. You want to get them all centre-ish. The last cinch before you serve. You want a nice golden brown base. The trick is, like I said before, not too fierce a heat. Just a little bit longer. Can you hear that sizzling now? I mean, there's less and less water in it. I think it's about ready to... No, not yet. There's a little bit more browning. That's what you're looking... For. That's what you're looking for on the bottom, a nice colour. Wow. Do I do the chopsticks or use hands? Whatever you want. Mm. Do you want to use chopsticks or hands? I don't mind. I don't mind either. I want to use chopsticks to get chopsticks. It's difficult when you're standing to hold a plate okay. with chopsticks. What? Okay, yeah, we'll eat these chopsticks. Okay, so here we go. We've got two sauces here. We've got the Kung Kee's yeah. Chu Chow Chili. Yeah, Chu. Chili oil. But I've mixed it with some light soy sauce. And oh, we've got their dumpling mix here as well, which we will sell on our website. Uh, dumpling dipping sauce, I should say. So here we go. Are you ready, Mel? Yeah. Try one with no sauce on first. Mmm. 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 Mushrooms come through mm. really. I hate mushrooms, mushrooms, but I love the flavour. It's a texture, but they've, they've cut so fine I can't. Mmm. What chicken sauce is that? It's dumpling. It's real heavy gin, uh, garlic in there, isn't it? It's really nice with this. Yeah. With delta. And then. Obviously a chi chow. Chu chow. It's really nice. Mm. You can taste the chicken as so well. The texture of it. The texture of the chicken. This one got a bit a bit of kick to it. Yeah, it's it? nice and hot, yeah. Isn't it? Not so hot hot hot, but you can feel it. This dipping sauce is good as well. Mm-hmm. It's quite spiced. There's a Vinegar. Yeah, there's some vinegar in there that cuts mm -hmm. with the oil really nicely, especially on the jazza. But also, there's a sesame flavour in there. Personally, I think they should have used a, a more mellow sesame flavour, 
that's like blackened and I, I think it's too strong for this but it's still nice I, I just would have preferred a lighter a lighter okay. soy like a blended soy instead of a hard hitting one but still very very good I really like that give this a try give this a go mm, please do yeah definitely this is one of the they're chewy and crunchy and mm. you can still taste that pastry mm. that vinegar from that dipping sauce comes through really nicely it's really good isn't it yeah personally I would have chopped up a few extra chilies and whacked them in there and maybe be, made it a little bit sweeter add a, a bit more sugar but that's really good <laughs> really enjoyed that yeah thank you very much for watching guys make sure to like comment subscribe if you've never had a Chinese mushroom before it's really difficult flavor to describe it's very strong but if you like mushrooms you'll like the flavor yeah I like it yeah me too so there we go thank you guys make sure to visit our website we sell the sauces and stuff on there yeah which is chinachu.com if you'd like to support us by all means buy one of these t-shirts that will help as well our cookbook's still available you have to just click load on the web store chinachu.com thanks again for watching guys we are filming loads of videos today we've already filmed one for chin and chew reviews i'm gonna film a couple more now yeah <laughs> yeah. At the end of the evening, we'll we're going to be oh. yeah. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Food? No, thank you. That's what's going to happen tonight. Yeah. I don't think we'll eat anything tonight. No, I say That's that though. That some sort of pizza will be going in my face, I reckon. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Take care, Mum. Happy cooking, happy eating. Yeah, but also. Also. Also, hit the like button. Subscribe. You got it. You got it. Thank you. Cheers, guys. <laughs>